So we have this rotor right next to us. We don't know too much about it, but we know that it's new. What can you tell us about it? Um, yes, <clears throat> what's new is we have now a, a swash plate uh, and it does not have any follower arms. So normally you have a, a small arm which contains a lot of ball bearings, uh, a shaft uh, and small parts which have to be assembled and in the case of a crash they have to be replaced. And to reduce uh, the, the count of parts needed to, to rotate the inner ring, we now have only a pin and a ball on both sides. And it can rotate it the same, it has the same function like a normal swash plate, but the, the part count is way less. And the other thing what's new on this head is, we have, <coughs> if you fly, uh, have a cyclic command, like uh, you fly a, a roll with a helicopter, then the black grips do at each rotation of the rotor head go and do like this. It's a wobble. It's not a wobble, it's, a, it's, a, it's a oscillating. And normally there's a shaft inside which is fixed with the head. It doesn't rotate and so for this reason the, the, you have uh, thrust bearings and the, at each rotation of the rotor head the thrust bearings have to move this way. And the problem is that there's a lot of force on these uh, parts and the, the higher the, the head speed is, the more force you need to rotate the plate grip. And this system now is designed in a way that uh, the spindle shaft, the, the damper system which holds the spindle shaft, is inside these red parts. And these red parts can rotate their ball bearings inside and the, these parts go inside the head. And if you do this oscillating at this head, the, I show it, the, 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 the complete spindle shaft and the dampers rotate also to this oscillating. And so the force which is needed to, to control the plate grip is way less. And this will result in a, in a more precise cyclic reaction of the helicopter. Are there any helicopters that currently use this rotor? No, no this is the first production lot and it is uh, dedicated to our team pilots for testing. And this is always, we start with designing it, build it, but uh, it's already built on, on the machines for serious production. And then we, we install it at our Whiplash helicopters and the team pilots will test it. But this is uh, normally not for the Whiplash, for selling. We will, we will have a complete new helicopter family. It's a Sukara 700. It's a complete new family and we develop it this year. It's so the plan for this year to develop the helicopter, to test this, and we have some more new things, but they are still not at the point that we can show it. As we know, this is also a new helicopter, but it's in de development, so it's like testing and so on. Or is it fully developed? It's fully developed. When can we expect uh, this to be released? The release time will be end of April. At the moment, uh, the molds are in production for the plastic parts like, like this. So we need a mold and this takes many weeks to be produced. Hmm? What is the rough price range that we can expect? The rough price range is about 1100 uh, euros here and yeah. What else is there that we can know about the helicopter itself? The helicopter itself is especially designed for the OS uh, gas engine. They have a small gas engine and uh, the gas engine needs a special cooling system because it gets very hot and we have developed a special cooling system for that engine that it does not overheat if you fly it. So as I can see, it's uh, petrol-based. It's petrol-based, yeah. uh, So what, is there anything special about that? Uh, about the petrol, it's uh, special that the, the, the cost for the fuel are low. You can use a normal, regular fuel you can on, on a fuel station. And the flight time is very high, very long. So if you, if you have a look at, at this tank, 
it has four, 440 cc and you can fly about half an hour with it. So. Oh wow, <laughs> that is way more than most. So why are petrol engines becoming so popular? Um, it's because of the, the regulations for nitro fuel and the price of nitro fuel. Um, the problem is uh, in Germany it's not allowed that uh, a, a hobby shop sends you the fuel by uh, parcel service. It's not allowed, you have to go there, you have to sign a paper that you will not give it to your children, maybe something like this. <laughs> and <clears throat> The price is very high for the fuel and especially in the United States um, the price for one gallon of fuel, it's about 4 liters, is about $60 now and so if, if you have like with our Whiplash Nitro, we have a fuel tank with close to one liter, so you have four flights and the cost are $60, so one flight is $50, uh, $15 and so the people look, are looking for some other alternatives, yeah. Thank you.